Right, well, when it comes to warding off disease, you may have more control than you think, even if you are genetically predisposed to an illness. Fox 5's Linda Schmidt introduces us to one doctor who says the key is all in what we eat. It's very easy to do this. It's no more expensive than fast food or processed food. Dr. Mitchell Gaynor says his new book, The Gene Therapy Plan, has recipes combined with medical science to help you lead a longer, healthier life. Dr. Gaynor is an oncologist and a hematologist who has been practicing here in New York City for more than 25 years. He says that by eating certain healthy foods and spices, we can actually help to control how our genes react so that we don't develop cancer, heart disease, diabetes, obesity, and premature aging. None of those have to be your destiny. They can all be modified by the foods you're putting in your body. Dr. Gaynor says we do not live in the same world that our grandparents did. Our environment bombards us every day with pollution, toxins, and processed food containing refined sugar and dangerous fats. He says these external forces can trigger our genes to develop chronic disease. But he says we all have the power with what we eat to reduce or even eliminate the onset of illnesses. So what should you eat to help prevent any and even fight cancer. Turmeric, which is what gives curry its yellow color, black raspberries and blueberries, garlic, and rosemary and oregano. For heart disease. Saffron is great. It contains a nutrient called crocin, which is a natural anti-inflammatory. You want to have Greek yogurt or fermented foods like sauerkraut. Also, olive oil is absolutely key. Dr. Gaynor says there's decades of research supporting the relationship of food to how our genes express themselves. Dr. Gaynor is hoping that the public takes notice because he says just five years from now, 50% of Americans will develop some form of cancer. Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News.